Good morning, this is the Outdoor Artist, and I wanted to show you the sand trap or bunker build that we've been working on here. And we did this with the excavator that I mentioned in a previous video that we rented. And you see the uh, white flags and the blue flag there. That is a drain line that com uh, comes down from the green, drains that whole right side of the green whole way down. So we needed to keep just to the left of that. And you see it's not going to be a huge bunker because to the right of it there's another drain where that other white flag is. But this will be just for practice purposes and provide us a nice area for, uh, for practicing that sand shot up to the green. This, uh, we're going to choose a, a white sand, nice white bunker sand because it'll provide a nice contrast. Um, with the green and with that uh, lip that we'll put in uh, during installation. So just wanted to give you an update on that. There will be a drain, by the way, in the middle of that bunker to keep the uh, water from accumulating and that'll come right on down the hill. So it's pretty well set up for, for drainage. I don't think that's gonna be too big an issue, but we've got all the materials here. We can just go ahead and do that. While we're here, I'll just focus the camera down and for those of you that aren't familiar with deer tracks, that's what these are. And uh, I'm going to just take a quick walk up to the green and show you what these fellows, these does and bucks have been doing recently because they've gone into a mode which is not particularly great. And that is, in, in addition to walking on the green, they scuff their hooves, so you'll see these scuff marks. And once again, okay, I could probably recover from those here and there, but they're, there's a lot of them. Here's, here's more, more scuff marks. But then recently they've taken to this, which is digging holes. This is where I'm gonna draw the line and say, I don't think so. You can see more holes up here that they've dug for some reason. So, behind me, you'll see the beginnings of my version of fighting back. And this is a solar powered electric fence. The solar panel was up earlier. This box contains the charge controller. This box contains a 12 volt marine battery that right now is reading 12.4 volts. And so we'll utilize that to keep that electric fence charged. And down here we've started, well, started as in we have one uh, putting up the, uh, the T posts that the electric fence will be attached to and we're going to start by just enclosing the green area and then we may expand a little bit next year to include a little bit more area to keep the deer out in general because they're a nuisance not only for the green but also for our gardens and crops and so forth so um, you'll also notice as long as we're here that the putting green itself has a, a few blank spots in it. This is one, for instance, that's starting to come in, but it came in pretty late. We had a very severe summer in terms of heat. And so the, the gra this type of bent grass does not go well in heat. And we had a heck of a time getting anything going. So it's starting to look a little bit better since the cool weather has arrived. You see, you've got the pin, kind of a tricky position here today. I'll probably move that over toward those carts, uh, maybe later, the, later today or sometime this week, just to move that pin around. We've been practicing a little bit up here. And with that mowed down to, uh, we've been mowing it to uh, 5 sixteenths. Um, it's a nice roll. 
Now it does take a few years to get a good bed of grass going, good carpet of grass, uh, good turf. And so this is the end of year one. And you can see it's uh, starting to come in and we have a ways to go, but looking forward to that. This is the Outdoor Artist, signing off.